Football. Following Team Barefoot's loss of Sean after the International Challenge Cup, the team regroups and prepares for the Continental Tournament, the last stepping stone to the World Tournament. But being one controller down means Team Barefoot has to find a new teammate. Sean made a suggestion, and when the team arrives in Hong Kong for the Continental Tournament, Oscar showed up on their doorstep. Does he have what it takes to help Team Barefoot make it to the World Tournament? I'm so happy to be a part of the Team Barefoot family. Uh-huh. 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 I've always liked fish. Watching them swim makes me happy for some reason. So you're one of Protector's controllers? No, no. I'm just supporting my four brothers by, um... by letting goals in and losing games. Whether it's real football or GGO, a team is a team. Exactly. If your brothers thought that way, they wouldn't be playing with you, would they? Uh, they just feel sorry for me, that's all. They always do well at everything at school and in sports. They're superstars. We may be brothers, but they're one big identical unit, and I'm always the odd man out. You know what the most important thing in the world is, son? It's confidence, and that's the truth, believe me. I know! I learned it the hard way! But I've been dragging them down all this time, and I just can't do it anymore. I know I'm green, but I've got tons of confidence now. I'll do my best to help you guys win the tournament. Wow, Oscar, you're so different now. So you're the sixth member of Team Barefoot. How about that? Mm. Master and I had a meeting before he left, and he told me he wanted me to fill in for him. Master? master? Ever since the game against Team Protector, Sean has been training me, so he is my master. I hope you guys don't mind if I call him Master Sean. Is that okay? No, not at all, Oscar. Because if Sean has confidence in you, then so do we. That's great. Anyway, I guess I should do some research for our next game. We already are, and here's what we found out. Those are the two signature moves of Team Birds, the scariest team in our group. Falcon Gliding Pass and Eagle Strike. They're the team that qualified for the World Tournament eight years in a row. Wow, we're up against a super strong opponent in our first game of the tournament. Oh, here we go again. I know, this really makes me miss Sean even more. Offensively, they're super strong. They're always on the attack. It's gotta be really hard to defend against them. Yes, attacking is their strong point, but their greatest asset is Falcon, their number 10 player. He's an all-round elite player and can play both offense and defense. When he's defending, he can mark two or even three opponents all by himself. Offensively, he's as good as two midfielders. Simply put, he runs the backfield and the midfield, while the other three players just back him up on the defense or feed him the ball when he's getting ready to shoot. Wow, Falcon can play three against one? That's unbelievable. Oscar's right. Falcon plays like a bird of prey on the backfield. And whether he's attacking or defending, it's going to be really hard for us to deal with him. So we need to make a plan right now. Mm. I say we take a defensive approach and keep three of our players in the backfield near the net. Okay, but doesn't that basically destroy our offensive power, though? I think that's too passive as well. If we do that, we'll be under siege for the entire game. So what should we do then? I have an idea, but I'm not sure if it'll work. The Falcon Trap. The, the Falcon, Falcon trap? trap? When Falcon gets the ball, Myth, Swift, and Satellite rush to surround him on three sides so we can block his Falcon gliding pass. In terms of defense, Shield and Titan will stay close to the goal, and in terms of offense, we need to space the rest of the players out and stay in close communication. It's risky, but I like it. By blocking their source of attack, we'll create the chance to counterattack three on one with only their goalkeeper to stop us. Yeah, we need to take the initiative right away. That's our only chance against Team Birds. The Falcon Trap, I love it. Oscar, you really have changed. You're as good as Sean with those analytical skills. 
totally. I can feel Team Barefoot getting stronger already. <laughs> Guys, you're embarrassing me. Our performance at the International Challenge Cup was just average. Our opponents will want to exploit our weaknesses, so we need to train hard and fix our faults. Come on, Swift Boy, run faster! Myth has better instincts on shots made from long passes than Satellite does. Myth, you take it! Shield? Timmy, be careful! You've got satellite on the right! Huh? Titan, here comes satellite! Yeah! 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 <laughs> Way to not pull any punches, satellite! Yeah! Yeah! How did he save that shot? Great work, Oscar! <laughs> Thanks, but that was all down to Titan's defense assistance. I've only just started playing with you, but you're already starting to remind me of Sean. You're right, and it's not just your playing or your analysis. It's the way you talk and dress and give us advice. It's really uncanny how much like Sean you are. Guys, I just got off the plane and I'm really tired. Sorry, but I'll have to stop now. Let's pick it up from here in the morning. Sounds good. We'll stop now, too. Go get some rest. I'm so happy to be a part of the awesome Team Barefoot. Yeah! yeah. Man, it's hard to believe that's Oscar. The little scaredy cat chicken from Team Protector. <laughs> yeah, he's come such a long way. Yeah, he's... Well, Sean did choose him to be our new teammate. And besides, he played very well just now. You have to admit that, Cat. How come you're all taking Oscar's side, huh? Because we all believe in Sean, and Sean believes in Oscar. So that means we have to believe in Oscar. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> all right, fine. If Oscar really... What was that? <laughs> Their opponents for the next game are pretty average. Would you say that Barefoot has this game in the bag? The more weak a team appears, the more likely they are to turn tables on you. Barefoot All I want is to become an amazing controller like him. <laughs> I've only just started playing with you, but you're already starting to remind me of Sean. You're right, and it's not just your playing or your analysis. It's the way you talk and dress and give us advice. It's really uncanny how much like Sean you are. The key to winning is defense, which means a team's attack has to start in the goal. Otherwise, you're finished before you even begin. The GTA Continental Tournament Group C Games are about to start with Japan's Team Birds against China's Team Barefoot. Please give a warm welcome to both teams, Team Birds and Team Barefoot! This is the first game of this section of the tournament, and we're seeing two of the Asian region's biggest heavyweights go head to head. This will definitely be a game to remember, so don't take your eyes off the action even for a second. Wait, and you might miss something big! This is my first game for Team Barefoot, and I promise I'm not gonna make any mistakes! Don't worry, Oscar. I'm positive we can beat Team Birds today. That's right, we're in tip top shape, and our spirits are high! They're going down! Yeah. Time to show the world what Barefoot can do! Hmm. I know we're confident, but we shouldn't forget to be careful as well, okay guys? Hmm. Ready? We need to cheer for Team Barefoot and make China proud! Isaac, I'm gonna cheer for you no matter where you go! Oh, oh I guess that Betty made it! Isaac, we're here for you no matter what! Just do your best!
routine. Are you copying him? No, I always drink ice water during a game. I find it really calms my nerves and relaxes me. Come on. He's totally copying Sean. Why can't you guys see that? You wouldn't by chance have any orange juice, do you, Oscar? Yep, coming up. Do you guys think this is enough? Wow! wow. Tails. Hmm. We're choosing tails. <laughs> we choose to kick off. Then we will attach it at right. Playing to the right in red and white is Japan's Team Birds. While playing left in red is China's Team Barefoot. Team Barefoot are missing their starting midfielder Nucleus and goalkeeper Shadow. I wonder what effect this will have on their gameplay today. We'll just have to wait and see! Today, Swift has replaced Nucleus as their starting midfielder. Mm -hmm. Satellite is playing right wing, Myth is playing forward, and Titan is the fullback. The newest team member, Shield, is the goalkeeper. As for Team Birds, their captain, Darkin, is playing forward. Phoenix is on the right wing, Jeff Fire is playing left wing, Core is their middle striker, and Iron Wing is their goalkeeper. Falcon has an amazingly powerful left foot, so be careful, everybody. <laughs> All right, football fans, we're going to kick off the first match of the Cup Level Tournament any second now. Their star player, Myth, has the ball already. Be careful. All right, everyone mark satellite and swim closely. Falcon, take care of Myth. Wow! Team Barefoot goes straight over the offensive! How will Team Birds handle them? Swift and Satellite are both marked. I don't have a single opening here. Here he comes! Look out! Is that? Look how fast Falcon can move! Okay, Myth, watch your back. You can do it, Myth! Don't let him take it! Don't waste time, Falcon. End this quickly. Kendo rules! Kendo! Where's the ball? That's an amazing move. Unbelievable skill. He's obviously taken a high-level kendo move and adapted it to GGO football. He was a bumping and a lightning fast tackle. Yeah! Really a world-class player. Really? That's all Barefoot's star player can do? He's too fast. They've turned it around and are attacking with full force. This doesn't look good. We've got three of them coming at once. I don't know if I can hold them off. Don't worry, Titan and Shield will hold them off. You concentrate on getting the ball back. Will do. Maintain your positions and stick to the original strategy. This is an eagle strike. They're going for a header, so they're not going to change the course of the ball. Timmy, tell Titan to stop Kwa. Leave Jetfire to me. Okay. Quick, Shield, don't let Jetfire get the ball. Fantastic save, Oscar. <laughs> Just doing my job. Timmy, that was great, too. <laughs> I told you beating Team Birds would be no big deal. Anyway, let's attack again, before they can get back. They're going to move the ball quickly. Jetfire, Claw, Phoenix, wait in the midfield for them to move the ball to you. Falcon will be fine defending on his own in the backfield. Huh? Do you think so? Falcon can easily take care of the three of them. We're about to show those kids what a real world-class GGO footballer looks like. There's three against one. Team Barefoot have turned the game around again. What a great chance for us. Yeah, let's see how you deal with this, Mr. Overconfident. So Falcon's the only defender now. All right, Myth, Satellite, Swift, make use of the whole field. Got, Got it. it. Yeah! Idea, but it looks amazing. If he gets the ball, we're in trouble. Hurry, Myth, go and help Swift. Wow, he's fast. And look out, Myth. Myth, pass it to Satellite. Okay. 
Mostly Falcon is a great defender, too. Look how he's staying ahead of those passes. Satellite, use your move! Gravity dribble! Let's use the Falcon Trap tactic now! Falcon Gliding Pass! I guess these guys aren't at the world level after all. Tell Claude to get ready for Eagle Strike. It's time to clock! Get ready, everyone! I can't believe what I'm seeing! We're in trouble! We've got nobody in the backfield at all! Just calm down and watch the ball, Tim. Shipfire just found an opening. Uh, heads up, Titan! Oscar, watch out for Phoenix! Based on the direction of the ball, I think it might be heading for Phoenix, but it might not. Come on, how would Sean play defense? The more weak a team appears, the more likely they are to turn tables on you. Of course. Claw's the furthest away, so Claw must be the shooter. Shield! Watch Claw, he's gonna shoot! Uh. Home run, this is it! Watch the ball! Eagle strike! And it's in! Ten minutes in and team Bears lead by one goal! Falcons grabbing pass and Phoenix's eagle strike proved to be an unbeatable combination for Japan. How did it happen? Did I make a mistake? Did they see right through me? Was I unprepared? Isaac just told you to watch out for Phoenix. How could you have missed that? It wasn't their fault. It was three against two. We're all responsible for that goal. It was total chaos before that shot. If only Sean were here, he would have told me what to do. It's my fault. I couldn't judge who the pass was heading to. Don't say that. We're up against a brutally strong team. It's definitely not your fault. Exactly. You're doing great, Oscar. Just keep it up. Hmm. Huh. As I suspected, they're no match for us. We'll take them apart, Falcon. Falcon really is an amazing player. He beat Myth, Satellite, and Swift without even trying that hard. How do we beat a player like that? This is gonna be so tough. Falcon is Team Bird's star player. He's a superstar with a left foot that is as good as any world-class footballer. His signature Falcon gliding pass is the team's killer move. He has great field coverage, strong defensive capabilities, and is an expert at maintaining control of the ball. Even when faced with three opponents, Falcon can easily break through and score. He's a very tough opponent for any team to face, and many have fallen before his mighty claws.